this is the world right wingers want a world where women are charged as murderers for having a miscarriage something that they cannot control it is sickening that uh, people are being forced to suffer a penalty for having a miscarriage um, it is time we reverse the overturning of Roe versus Wade and reinstall a law that is there to actually protect women because right-wingers pretend to want to protect women but their uh, their anti-abortion stance is actually more detrimental to women though they do know this but for the most part, most of them don't even care. New at four, women in states across the country are fighting for abortion rights. And now one Ohio woman is facing criminal charges, not for having an abortion, but for her handling of a miscarriage. Laura Aguirre has more on this controversial case with potentially huge legal ramifications in the national abortion debate. How is a person supposed to handle a miscarriage? Uh, a lot of the times, People may not even know they're having a miscarriage or can't even do anything about it because they're at home, can't get to the hospital or something. Brittany Watts of Ohio was just, just under 22 weeks pregnant in September, says a coroner's report, and had gone to the hospital at least twice for pain. Both times she left after being made to wait for hours without treatment, according to the Washington Post. Ended up going home. Well... Uh, the, the doctors and nurses know that she's bleeding, that she's pregnant, and there could be something wrong with the fetus that could also endanger her own life. And they made her wait hours several times. Shouldn't she be on a higher priority list in order to make sure she's able to survive? Because a lot of people can die either giving birth or because a fetus becomes stillborn and um, ends up killing the mother due to having a dead fetus inside them. Had a miscarriage like many others have experienced and is now being charged with abuse of a corpse. Maris is not Watts' attorney but is a defense and trial lawyer closely watching this case. The Post says Watts returned to the hospital where a nurse called police after Watts told the nurse that remains from the miscarriage could be found at Watts's home. Prosecutors essentially said it was irrelevant whether or not the fetus was, whether or not there was a live birth. They were focused on everything that happened after. And it was after the miscarriage county records show Watts tried to flush some of the remains and put the rest in a bucket left outside. An autopsy found no recent injuries to the fetus, which had died in utero. Watts is The fetus died inside her. What was she supposed to do besides let her body pass it? Um, a miscarriage is pretty traumatic for people, especially those that actually want to have kids. I mean, was she supposed to, like, call the funeral home? and ask for a cremation like come on let's be serious here how, how i mean people have miscarriage in various developmental stages i mean if we were to start uh criminally charging everybody that had a miscarriage there would be millions of women put into prison for something that naturally happens a mis miscarriage is something that is done by the body naturally to protect the woman from dying from having a dead baby or a dead fetus inside them. Lawyer tells CNN in a statement that there is no law in Ohio that requires a mother to bury or cremate the remains of a miscarriage and they will... Okay, so if that is, if th if that is the law, then she has broken no law whatsoever and the charge of abuse of a corpse is bogus. It is just something right-wingers 
are trying to create a precedent over to, so that they can charge women for having a miscarriage. They don't care about the lives of women. All they want to do is punish women for a natural function. Continue to fight the charge. There's a lot of uncertainty mm. about the way these statutes are going to be used, and there's less constitutional barriers that were uh, that were.